What's up everyone, Stillman here. Welcome to another episode. I received a few questions from a newbie NFT artist that wants to get into 3D NFT making. He doesn't know what programs are out there and he wants to know which ones he should use. So today we're gonna to start off with a segment I like to call top 10 programs to help you finish your 3D NFT project. Let's get into it. All right, everyone. So first up on our list, we have Pixelogic ZBrush. This program is a powerhouse when it comes to sculpting. It is the industry standard for sculpting. This program could be a little intimidating to use for beginners, but don't worry. This program has an amazing community online and on YouTube with amazing tutorials and someone who I highly recommend following if you want to get into ZBrush is, uh, is actually Michael Pavlovich. He has the most extensive tutorials if you want to get started right away. All right, so next up we have Blender. Blender, this is an amazing program for polygon modeling. And the best part is that this program is free. You can actually do it all with Blender for modeling, texture, lighting. Maybe this is the program you use for everything. Some people I recommend following for amazing tutorials are Blender Guru. This guy's fantastic. And he's got several different types of tutorials to go through. His donut tutorial is pretty good. Make sure to check that one out. And the other person I would recommend as well is CG Cookie. Like I said, these are very extensive and a great way to get started. All right. So the third program we're going to be talking about is actually an Autodesk program called Fusion 360. This is a great program for hard surface designs. So if you want to design weapons or anything mechanical, this will be your go-to. This is a CAD program, which is mostly used by engineers or people involved in manufacturing or even 3D printing. So the tools are going to be super precise. All right, so next up we have Daz 3 d This is yet another free program. And I think this is a perfect solution for generating posable 3D humans. You can even animate them. It's really a great program. All right, so fifth on the list, we have Marvelous Design. This is a fantastic solution for cloth simulation. So if you're designing clothing or if you need to create environmental assets like curtains blowing in the wind or bed dressings, this is going to be the perfect program for that. I recommend checking out Travis David's tutorials to get started right away. You can find him on YouTube. So next up on the list, we have Adobe Substance 3D Painter. This is a great program for texturing, whether it be realistic texturing or stylized texturing, you'll want to use Substance Painter. This program will allow you to paint directly onto your 3D models in real time. And the next one is also a, an Adobe uh, product. Uh, this one here is called Substance Designer. This is a node-based workflow program, but this program is extremely powerful because it actually allows you to create materials completely from scratch. For example, rocks or leather fabric or any material that is super detailed. An amazing tutor I would recommend using for this program is Daniel, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing the last name right, but Tiger. These tutorials are fantastic for this program. All right, so next up we have World Creator. If you want to create environments, and I'm talking like on a massive scale with like mountains or anything involving terrain or land, this will be your go-to program. And what's cool is that this program works in real time. All right, so next up on our list, we have Maxon Cinema 4D. This is a fantastic piece of software. The best part of this program is that it has some really cool motion graphics tools if you want to get started in, in animation. This one is great. And last but not least, we have another Adobe product, Photoshop. This is the last program that will bring your render to a high quality finish. This is great for color grading or just touching up any slight blemishes to make your project look as good as it can be. So that concludes our top 10 list for today. I hope this information was useful. If it was, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Now let's continue on with the show. Well, I hope you found that segment useful. Comment below with any NFT questions you want me to explain in my next video. All right, so now for the main event.
Let's head out and see what kind of amazing NFTs we can find this time. So remember, this is not financial advice. These are just some amazing NFTs that we're showcasing from around the world. Now let's get started. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to view more pieces from the artist or contact the artist, their links are in the description below. Now let's get started. Elena Caldwell. She is new to the NFT space at the age of 40. She is a co-owner of a graphics design agency, StyleWorksCreative.com, a mother of two, and she is loving this chance to being able to work on her own art. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Behemoth AI. Behemoth AI. Paul Ahern Miller, lifelong artist and creator, started building websites in 96, which led to a career in marketing and advertising. Coming from a family of artists, father art professor at UC Santa Cruz, and mother musician and painter as well, his upbringing involved paint and the love of art. There has always been a desire by artists to display their artwork and interact with collectors and other artists. The beginning of the NFT movement was just the thing to fulfill his passion to create and interact with others in this new space. His future will be building spaces in Unreal Engine and dimensionalizing his artwork or turning it into operational 3D creations for the metaverse and his family of collectors. Love these pieces. Amazing work. Cecilia Art. Her name is Cecilia, owner and illustrator of Cecilia.art. She runs an online shop and she has a YouTube channel where you can see all the behind the scenes, weekly, monthly studio vlogs, and other art stuff. She loves fairies, tea, cooking, all the fantasy and sci-fi stuff. She loves to paint with watercolors, inks, acrylics, and explore other mediums. But she also enjoys creating digital art and printmaking. Love how magical these pieces look. Keep up the great work. CryptoPaw. This collection includes 10,000 NFTs, all of which are unique. None of them are similar and are different in terms of rarity. In this collection, an attempt has been made with a beautiful and memorable design for all the people of the world to remind them of their grandfathers. With this beautiful and exquisite collection, a game is presented that can only be played by those who have at least one of the CryptoPaw NFTs. The game provided is play to earn, and players in the game can earn money with the points they earn in the game. Their policy for the game is to increase the price value of the collection. They strive for those who trust them and join them in the journey to be able to benefit by keeping the collection or playing and the whole community to grow and become stronger together. Love this collection. Keep up the amazing work. Dope Alpacas. The Dope Alpacas have woken up and are hungry. They feed on grass and crypto. A collection of 5,000 alpacas by Matteo Razzitti and Mad Matt, on sale from May. Very cool collection. Keep up the great work. Enthusiastic Woman. Her name is Pathak from India, an independent artist who loves to make creative arts in the form of NFTs. Either it is natural or photography, her aim is to give the best work possible so that one can buy her NFTs. Love these pieces. Keep up the great work. Kapil. Kapil is a multidisciplinary performance art and theater practitioner. He also works with puppets and objects. He has done his MA in performance studies. Very cool project. Keep up the great work. Love Handles. Each picture captures a moment of time in her 10 year long distance love story, which spans through the years of 2005 to 2015. The images are time capsule pieces, limited in nature and playfully edited to bring some of her personality into the picture. Dating is hard, but in these moments, you'll find proof that things can work, proof that people in love can beat the odds, and also proof of a really freaking cool love story. Great pieces. Keep up the great work. 
Lozita. All her art is hand painted. Bright colors, ancient wisdom, ancestral medicine, divine sacred feminine, and the enigmas of life inspire her art. The art of ancestral plant medicine fascinates her and has changed her life over the past decade. She feels that if more people were to participate in healing plant medicine ceremonies, be it ayahuasca, wachama, peyote, or fungi, with heartfelt intentions and accompanied by genuine heartfelt guides, we will grow stronger and heal on an individual and mass level. This is a reoccurring theme in her artwork, made with love. Love these pieces. Keep up the great work. May. Expressive pictures of natural life. Love how much color and detail go in every piece. Keep up the great work. Mask Man. His handle name is Maskman999 on Twitter and on the OpenSea platform. He is just one month into making NFTs. He enjoys the art and process of making NFTs. He was inspired to make NFTs after seeing so many beautiful pieces on Twitter and OpenSea. These are great pieces. Keep up the amazing job. Ray Helogavi. Straight Pussycats is a collection of 1001 unique NFTs. Us strays, their mission is to make a nice and safe home for themselves out of the streets. By adopting them, you'll help them on their mission. Give them the love and support that they need. 11% of every pussycat adoption will go to sanctuaries, non-kill shelters, non-profit organizations, and just simply individuals that are helping all the beautiful fur babies to have a safe home and a better life. This sounds like an amazing project. Keep up the great work. Sabby Graf. He's a 3D designer and recently made NFTs. His collection is about lazy eggplants inspired by the Naruto series and other famous characters. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Shiba Inu Race. Welcome to the new coolest Shiba Inu NFTs community. Their project aims to ride the hype listing NFTs representing with 10,000 collectibles, the most iconic meme dog in all its daily nuances. The collection is running on the Ethereum blockchain and by owning a Shiba Racer, you will have access with a bonus to their exclusive future NFT trading app. Take part at the special hunting, buy four NFTs of the same family to get an NFT reward worth rare or higher. Very cool project. Keep up the great work. Spooky Dude. Spooky Dudes launched 1000 items on the OpenSea marketplace. Unique digital collectibles living on the Polygon blockchain. Great collection. Keep up the great work. SYF. We are all made of stardust and our work and everything in our life depends on stars and space and all particles. In this collection, you can see amazing artworks by him for many hours and days. A colorful and imaginary look of the cosmos. Love these pieces. Keep up the great job. The Meta Streets. Start Sign is an audiovisual, digital street artist and streetwear designer who specializes in the digitalization of the hip hop culture. Over the course of their artistic journey, they have worked on multiple custom design projects, including murals, canvases, and fabrics. With the rise of the digital world, StartSign is developing their artistic style into a digital approach, which is the foundation for their personal brand, a virtual concept that they call the Meta Streets. StartSign is taking a multidisciplinary approach to bringing hip hop and street culture to the digital world. They are actively engaged in the creation of NFT collections for their fashion, music, and art communities. If you'd like to be part of this NFT project, get your MetaStreet coupon on OpenSea Polygon and hold on to it for up to 66% lifetime discounts. Very cool project. Keep up the great work. The Ghost Gang NFT. The Ghost Gang is inspired by the legendary video game Pac-Man. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde come to life becoming the most famous celebrities in our society. Every day, a new character is released. Very cool project. Love the 8-bit graphic art. Keep up the great job. 
There is no box. Welcome to the Crypto Hippo world. There is an eagle in her that wants to soar, and there is a hippopotamus in her that wants to wallow in the mud. The Crypto Hippo Club is a unique club with 1500 hippos native to the blockchain world. Located in the slow moving rivers and lakes of the metaverse, you can find these adorable cute hippo crypts tromping and jazzing around on the ETH blockchain. Love this project. Keep up the great work. Tech Art His name is Artur Mandas and he is an artist and developer. For nearly two decades, he has been working for different clients including Purple, Sony, 3Net, Pulsat, Finlandia, Mercedes, Play, Procter and Gamble, Gillette, Era GSM, Coca-Cola, Samsung, SAP, Microsoft, Rabo Bank, UA, Honeywell and Rocking. He also collaborated on a short movie, The Game, directed by Marcin Janik, that won a Polish Oscar qualification and numerous international awards. For example, in Cannes, Short Film Corner, Indie Fest, Best of Show, Canada International Film Festival, Rising Star Award, and Boston International Film Festival, Best Animated Film Award. During this production, he was responsible for modeling, lighting, animation, visual effects, and rendering. He creates 3D digital art using manual and procedural methods. Sharp and straight lines are his trademark. With time, his art evolved from sci-fi settings into more surreal and minimalistic means of expression. The main motives he touches on are humanity and the unknown. His design stack is the following. Unity, Houdini, Blender, Substance Painter, ZBrush, Photoshop, After Effects, DaVinci, Resolve, Gaia, TerraGen, and Affinity Suite. Secondary choices are 3DS Max, Maya, Lightwave 3D, and Mudbox. That is a super impressive background and your work definitely reflects your skills and talents. Keep up the great job. Last but not least, we have Villamax NFT. Villamax NFT is a new upcoming project with one of one photographed handmade art. The artist behind the project is Marianne. Marianne is a female artist who is active since 1991. From her origin, Marianne is a physical artist who made lots of upcycle art in the past decades. Her art is now photographed to turn her physical art into NFT art. The founder behind this project is her son Max and his friend Ernjello. This is their first project, but these guys have been in the NFT space for a while. Great project. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching the whole way through. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to be showcased on our next video, just DM me on Twitter. The instructions are in the description below. A huge thank you to all the NFT artists for their submissions. I'll see you next week. Until then, keep on creating.